Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Teen Idols. Are you ready for the preview for the March Mini Maker Bag Club? Finally. Um, yes, I know this is very late. Uh, we're running a bit behind this month, I suppose. Um, usually I do it earlier in the month. I did not do that. I did not get to do that. Well, at one point I forgot I needed to do that. <laughs> And then I also didn't have everything ready. So, um, now everything's ready. Actually, I'm still finishing up things today. <laughs> These will go out tomorrow. I do apologize for the slight delay. They're supposed to go out by the 15th, which was, which is today, which is a Sunday. So, they obviously can't go out today. But they should have went out yesterday. But I wasn't finished. And that is poor planning on my part. Because... I was thinking about the last two months that I did it and not remembering that I had more to do this month because I added more spots. So, anyway, um, so anyone who's watching, this is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to see it until you get it, don't watch because I'm going to show things. <laughs> um, this month's theme is Maker Madness, okay? So, the reason I themed it that is that March, and in case you haven't heard me say or noticed on social media, March is for makers. March is a big month for lots of maker hashtags going on on Instagram and just general fun things going around for makers of all kinds. So, um, and also the print that I chose for this month, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, it's a wild one. It's a wild one. Um. I, I debated on choosing it, but I decided it was a good, it was the best fit for, for, for the theme for this month. Um, it, it's loud and loud. I mean, color and print, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I think I love it. I hope y'all love it. Um, it is so, uh, Let's talk a bit about more about the theme first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, make, maker madness. You know, when you're in the midst of making and you're, you're just getting stuff done and then all of a sudden something just, ugh, something happens. It just messes everything up. And then you're just like, ah, and it th can throw off your whole maker mojo. You know what I mean? Um... Or, you know, and sometimes you're trying to get things done for a certain event or or a certain time of the year or whatever. It just, sometimes it just makes things just spin out of control sometimes, right? Um, and I'm going to tell you, this month, this was a, certainly a fit for me in making the bags and stuff for this uh, club. Because I just... Once I picked out my main fabric, I couldn't decide on an interior fabric. It took me forever to decide on that. And then, uh, this was a particular print, which I'm going to tell you all about. I had to do a bit of funny placement on this. was not a quick cut on this. Um, and still wasn't exactly what I wanted, but, um, I had already bought the fabric. So, uh, no, the fabric was what I wanted, but I didn't. It's hard to gauge a print based on a size you want the print to go in online. So, we'll just say that. So, anyway, keep it in mind our theme, Maker Madness. Um, I picked a print from one of my very favorite fabric designers, Miss Tula Pink. Um, I love her fabrics. I have a collection way up on top of the shelf of fabrics, uh, prints. Some are out of print and things that I find. That I love and I hoard. <laughs> so, this is uh, not her newest line, but this is a fairly new line. It's called Monkey Wrench. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, you see this little monkey guy? I told y'all this is a bright print. Most of Tula Pink's prints are bright colors. Um, let's see, let me see, focus. You can see this little guy. This little monkey with a wrench in his tail, right? Um, one of the reasons I picked this print is because of uh, the reason she made the line monkey print. She was talking about the very same thing I'm talking about. That 
you know, you go along and a, a monkey throws a wrench in your plans when you're making and uh, you kind of start all over <laughs> or something like that. So um, that's why I chose this print. So some of the monkeys have a wrench in their tail. Okay, so the, some of the guy, monkeys don't have a wrench in their tail. Okay, so that was part of my placement problem because um, about every other monkey has a wrench. So I want to make sure every bag had a monkey with a wrench in their tail. Sorry, I'm sipping on coffee this time. Um, so some of times the monkey is he's fairly in the middle of that bag, and this is one of the toppers. Which is this black and white uh, print and on the inside we have this is a an art gallery print this is not focusing very well come on I want y'all to be able to see it because it's I have a new thing holding my camera too and it shakes too easy I'm noticing so you see this print to me it looks like uh bamboo caging or something with bananas hanging off of it now that's not what the print is i can't remember what it's called uh but that was my thought when i saw the print i thought it was perfect for the inside of this bag because if you want you can turn it inside out all of my bags all of these are reversible just so y'all know and uh put the monkey in a cage <laughs> <laughs> if you're having a bad day with the monkey and his wrench and your maker plans, you can just flip him inside there, right? I know that's silly, but that's what I was thinking. Um, and this has this bright blue. Oh, this is not focusing good at all. Uh, gross grain ribbon tab. I'm going to have to figure out something better. I got me a new thing to hold my my phone, my camera when I'm recording, which is my phone. Um, I like the way it grips the camera better, but it is, it wobbles easily. My floor is shaky in here anyway, so it, that's not helpful. Anyway, so as I said, placement on these monkeys. There are some where he's, he's right there, right? And there's some where he's hiding around the corners see I did try to get a full monkey he is there he is just around the corner you see him? <laughs> he's around the corner there's a bit of him hanging out up there so that's why I wanted to show that some of the bags are like this and some are like this there was no way I tried every which way to be able to get a centered monkey and still be able to use all of my fabric and it just would not work out that way so uh sometimes the monkey is hiding in the corner down here just like this but there he is you can see him and you can see him peeking out from the top sometimes so that monkey is all over the place which you know the monkey's throwing wrench in your plans he's not easy to catch sometimes right um so some of the bags have a, a zebra print top. And then some have, you know, this got string all over this. A black and white little, it's a circle, but it's hard to see when it's folded over like that. But it's like a, they would kind of call that an orange peel pattern and a quilt. <laughs> so, so that is our fabric for this month. It is a tulip pink, tulip pink monkey wrench i hope y'all enjoy these bright colors that's why i paired it with the black and white and more neutral interior to tone that down a bit but like i said tulip pink is one of my favorite fabric makers fabric designers so i, I wanted to uh that's why i chose her for this month plus the print was perfect for what i was aiming for this month okay so this month I uh, let's talk about our extras okay um I decided to I wanted to give y'all some things that basic very basic maker supplies right things that I reach for time and time again 
and one is a pencil. Yes, a pencil. Um, this is no ordinary pencil though. This is a black uh, Dixon uh, Ticonderoga. I think that's how you say that. I don't know for sure. But that's not gonna focus on that. Let's see if we can focus on the big package. Ticon Ticonderoga. And you see it says the best pencil, the world's best pencil. I have to agree. I have so many of these pencils laying around every which way. I love writing with a pencil, okay? I write with a pen sometimes, but most of the time if I'm doing sketches or designs and patterns or taking notes, I'm writing with a pencil because I can erase it. And I love writing with a pencil. So this is my favorite, favorite pencil. This, they come in the... They're a number two pencil. It's an HB number two. Uh, so they come in the yellow color too, but I like the black ones. I really like the erasers on the end. They're very nice. So we get a pencil this month. My favorite kind of pencil. And since I ordered a large pack, I have extras that I will be keeping for me. So I'm also including uh, this little notebook. Now these are don't have as many pages as I was hoping they would have, but uh, you're not going to be able to read that. It says on the front of them, everything is going to be all right. Although it's very hard to read on these yellow ones. They come in several colors. We got an orange, we got a blue and a green, and a pink and a yellow. So you'll get one of those colors. Um, there's a happy little teddy bear sitting at the top of each page to keep you company. Oh, this thing is not focusing very well and I don't want to touch the thing. Yeah. So this is for your note taking. You get a good idea or something. These are good to stick in your bags or whatever. And Got your little pencil. Alright. So I had to give y'all some extra erasers too. These are Papermate Arrowhead erasers okay now I keep a I keep these are thicker than your average pencil eraser topper I have yet to actually use these I will say that um, so I keep some basic erasers like this as well as the flat erasers uh, because I usually wear it out of eraser before I run out of pencil most of the time. So this is going to give you more life to your pencil with your two little erasers. These are supposed to be really good erasers. I hope that they are because I haven't actually used these erasers. Um, I wanted to get some of those polymer erasers which are my favorite but it is a bit out of the budget. So anyway. <laughs> now also you need something to sharpen that pencil with don't you? Look at these. I found these cute little sharpeners. This has got a little lid. Actually has two sizes. So if you got something bigger, you can put that in there. But you can keep those shavings nice and and out of your way and not make a mess. So I thought these were super cool um, to find. It, it's got a little flip lid on it. So you can, you can stick that down in there and keep your pencil sharpen if you need to. Which I super like. Now this comes in blue, yellow, green, and pink. Which actually matches, well, I don't have an orange. So it does, besides the orange, it matches the notebook color. So I'll try to pair them up accordingly. How about that? Um, so something else I use quite frequently. Because no, that's not it yet. For your, This is your maker extra which comes with every thing. That's my dog. If you hear the snorting and things, it's my dog. She decided to come lay right here as soon as I start recording. Yeah. So, anywho, I am also including a, a thing of washi tape. I love washi tape. I use it. These are the possible colors you can get. They are a bunch of different shades of each color. So, you'll get one of these. Whatever gets, all oh, these kind of coordinate with the the other stuff, right? I had lots of color in there, so I'm trying to make our accessories colorful. 
So, um, I love washi tape. I use it for, uh, I use it for all kinds of things. You can use it in a journal if you've got one of those. You can use it to mark your place on a pattern. Because usually it removes fairly easily. It just depends on the paper. I would check that before. Most of the time, you can stick it on something and pull it off pretty easily. It's like drafting tape. It reminds me of drafting tape. Um, and uh, you can use it to highlight things. Um, this is a little bit see-through. Not. It depends on the color. The yellows are probably more see-through. So, But uh, I use it to tape envelope backs and stuff. I have a ton of washi tape. So I'm giving some of it to y'all because uh, I'm never going to use it all. So um, I decided to put some washi tape in there. It's just a plain color washi tape. So though that is your little extra and everything will be tucked inside a little, this is a hand stitched, it's paper. It's a paper little pouch. It's not going to be something that you can continually store this in. Not really. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all that. But you can, let's see, everything's going to be stuck in this little pouch. Do, 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 do. Let me get it. It's a fun little pouch. So what I will say is that you can use this um, if you have a journal or an art journal or or whatever. You can use this to um, you can stick it in your art journal for a pocket for little paper things you want to keep. That would certainly be great. A journal or a art journal, like I said, or um, what else could you do with this? You can make a card out of it if you wanted to. So I thought it was just a fun little way to tuck everything inside. Um, it's something you can reuse. It's kind of like the maker calendar I did in January, which is useful for the month. And then you, I showed you how you could cut off the top and make a tag out of it. Um, so they won't all be this color, but we have this one. It has some shiny gold on it. Uh, and we have, I have several different ones. So, I have that, and this one, they all came out of the same paper pad. I have a bunch of paper pads. There's a pink one, that, like the blue one. There's some with parasols on them. And then there's an orange one with that color. Yeah, that's, you, you could see one of those, right? The back's just a, a plain, a plain, uh, a plain one. My, my words is going away. So that is your Maker Extra. And I haven't shown y'all the charms yet, have I? No, no, no. So you get two Maker Charms. And I doubt this is going to focus on this. But I couldn't resist when I found these. It was perfect for the bag. It's a monkey and a wrench. <laughs> and I doubt that's going to focus on that. Let's see. There we go. There's your little monkey, and he does have a backside. So he does not look the same on both sides. So he has a front and back, and his wrench. So that matches perfectly with your bag. And then I also got these, which I had these in my stash, but I thought they were perfect for, this is a caffeine molecule, Mole molecule? molecule <laughs> you know for when you need another burst of energy I know I surely reach for my caffeine um, and this is yellow jade actually and it is mm, I picked it because it was yellow like a banana but also um, it has a, a jade is yellow jade in particular I can't remember what it said now, but it's supposed to, I think, help bring out your creativity and energy or something like that. I don't know. I don't keep up with that stuff, but I'll try to include that in the paper. Like I sent last month, I sent a paper that explained what all this is in case you don't watch the preview video. So you can see what the meaning is behind this stuff. Because sometimes it can make me a little strange. 
if you didn't watch the video. So I intended to do that with the first month and I forgot and someone said that because they didn't watch the preview video, they were kind of, until they watched the preview video, they didn't really understand why I picked what I picked. So, we got one more thing to look at, and that would be the tea that is coming. I picked a tea. This is a Bigelow Benefits tea called Focus, right? To help us focus get back into focus when that monkey throws a wrench in our plans, in our maker plans. This is a morning moringa and black tea. It has black tea, black tea extract, moringa leaves, ashwanga, ashwagandha root, and turmeric root. I'm hoping I said all those right, but there you go. That's a focus tea. Every day is better, better with clarity and focus. That's what it says on the back. So, this is one, I'm sure, black tea has caffeine in it, y'all, just so you know, this is not a decaffeinated tea. So, um, if I felt like it paired great with the little caffeine molecule that we got going on. That's to help fuel your maker energy and get you out of that maker madness or help fuel you through your maker madness, right? Um, kind of reminds me of the Mad Hatter or something. I'm going to go ahead and say, when I originally did that, I thought about Alice in Wonderland because I love Alice in Wonderland stuff, but I couldn't find, could not find what I was looking for in particular in, to go that route. So, this is what I picked because I thought this is perfect because, you know, when you're in your maker madness mode and then that monkey throws a wrench in your plans, you know, it's like, ah! So this is some things just to help you, uh, remind, to, remind you to stay focus, take a break, take a little jot in your little notebook, um, uh, do, drink you some tea or hit, get you some caffeine if, if you, t if you drink caffeine. I know not everybody likes caffeine as much as I do, which I really don't, mostly coffee is where I get my caffeine. But, um, so I hope that y'all will enjoy this month's, uh, Mini Maker Bag Club. Um, today is 15th, like I said. I'm hoping to get this up super quick. Uh, if this go, this may or may not go up before I put out April's. It's supposed to go out today. And it will go out today. It'll just be later today. So I'm going to try to get this up before I do that. Because I still got to pack things up. So they can go out tomorrow. Um, and I do apologize for the slight delay. Although it's... Not as bad as I thought it might get at one point. So, uh, this one fit in per this month. I think that monkey was throwing a wrench in my plans very much. So, maybe I need to get all these monkeys out of my room. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Too much, too many monkeys running around in here. I need to get them out of my space. So, hopefully they don't cause you too much chaos. Um, anywho. My dog is snoring now, if y'all can hear that. I don't never know until I play it back if y'all can hear that or not. But, um, I hope y'all enjoy this month's club. Like I said, we got, uh, your bag, got two different tops, and your monkey may be in the corner, or he may be in the center. I couldn't keep him in one place. There will be a monkey on there with a wrench in his tail on every bag. And then we've got the fabric inside. If you want to turn around and put him in a little pen, you can do that. And then we have the little pouch with our pencil and pencil sharpener, extra erasers, a little notepad, and some washi tape. So, and your tea and maker charms. Yay! So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there was other things I was planning on doing. This month really threw me for a loop, and I think it's all because of those monkeys, y'all. I'm going to keep blaming it on the monkeys. All right, so uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments if you're watching. Um, like I said, these will go out Monday, so uh, you may get a shipping notification today if I print out the labels, um, but they won't go out till Monday. And I will be sending out, um, this is the way it's going to work. I'm going to send the people who wanted to go on to PayPal, I will send them a, a recurring... Uh, what is it called? Invoice, which is not automatic. You pay it, you have a certain amount of time to pay it, and you pay it when you're ready. 
And then for those that wanted to stay on Etsy, I will put up a custom listing with your name on it for you specifically. And then once I get all of those done, what's left in the club will go up as a regular listing. And because if you didn't start in the beginning, you have to just grab it if you can get it. Okay. So, mm, yeah, that's the way it goes. And they go pretty fast, you guys. So, you guys, why am I saying you guys? Y'all. So, uh, um, I guess you better get it while you can if you want it. <laughs> And next month's theme is Spring Dreams, okay? So that's your only clue you get for next month, Spring dream, Dreams. I hope this camera is not shaking all around when I watch it back and making y'all dizzy. I'm going to have to figure this out. This new stand is being too wiggly. So, all right, y'all. Y'all remember to have a life lived creatively, and I will see y'all later. I will be doing a podcast, but it will be Monday, okay? So, toodles. From tea dottles. <laughs>